Some winter days can get awfully gloomy. Fortunately, Mike Stevens finds a way to lighten things a bit in the Photolink Library. If it wasn't for the moon, a place like Churchill Street in Dushar would be pretty dark. This is from Michelle Morris. Here at Sugarloaf, Pat Urban caught the moon peeking out. Good news at light in the night. We are of a mind this time to look for light outside, perhaps allowing us to think spring is coming as Diane Evers did in South Chernobyl. Mara Snyder of Muncie thought the skies were beautiful, and we must agree. Sunrise at Popacken Lake from Brianne Morgan. A sunset at Toby Hanna, captured by Evan Walker. We are treated to a different canvas each moment. This is from Diane Beckett, New Boston, Moria. The sun and a sampling of clouds in Frackville, seen by Sheila O'Brien of Orwigsburg. The sky can be a lovely work of art, the canvas changing by the minute. This from Amber Jones in Wilkesbury. The snow passes on, leaving behind enough light to brighten up the darkest day. Monica Rhodes of Weatherly sent this. Diane Beckett of Canton caught the clouds filling the sky. So, we get a bit of light, as Gretchen Batchinger of Benton did, and we make something of it. Something to help us pass a cold day. Something to brighten our spirits. Joan Rogers of Nicholson did just that in this image. A moment of light that will surely brighten the day. One more then, while we can. Ice Wonders, it's called, by Chris Koval of Zion Grove. Winter is not always kind or colorful, or pleasant. But there are days when it is all that. Enjoy them when you can. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photolink Library.